She said, the more grateful I became, the more my life changed in a positive way. And I can attest to that. I received a message from a young man who, who was at a place where I spoke on gratitude. He sent me this message and in his message, he expressed his frustration in finding reasons and purposes to be grateful. I thought of it and I said, I wonder if there are others like him that do not really get the message or am I not reaching them in the right way? So I decided to do this video about gratitude, a short video. My name is Tessa Marie and welcome to my YouTube channel where you will find the answers to life's true happiness and success. Subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when these type of videos are released. It's about being grateful. So I spoke to this young man and he could not find reasons or purposes to be grateful. He really took in what I said. He heard it. And he said, I've been working on it. But you also said, Tessa Marie, that you should have different things to be grateful for. It should not always be the same thing. Yes, I did. And But he said he couldn't find different things. And he found himself being grateful for the same things all the time. So I had to take him through this journey on gratitude. You see, gratitude is simple and gratitude is huge. Why would I say that? It can be there and it can be a big reason to be grat grateful for. And we always look for the big reasons to be grateful. And we always look to be grateful when a special thing is given to us or we receive something and we are grateful for that. And I said, there are lots of things to be grateful for. And I too had to go in and realize that what I teach, I experience. When I get the answers, I share. So being grateful for me was just like what we were taught as children. Be grateful for Uncle Harry. He gave you a Christmas present. Be grateful for Auntie Rose. She took care of you when you were a baby. Be grateful for the neighbors. They always give you an apple. Right? That's what we were taught. To be grateful for those purposes, those type of things. But gratitude is bigger than that. Gratitude has more than that to share. And this is where it all comes in. We need to know how to be grateful. And that is one of the reasons we have to put ourselves out there and be grateful and use gratitude a little bit stronger and seek out reasons in our life every day to be grateful and make being grateful a part of our daily life. Gratitude comes with, I am happy and grateful, I'm thankful. And, but when we are grateful, we must put elevated emotion, vibrational, joyful emotion into being grateful. And obviously, when I spoke to him, he got that right. But he couldn't find new things in his life to be grateful about. And he's not alone. So I did a survey and I found out there were so many people that did not understand really how to practice gratitude to that in that level and how to find the reasons and the purposes to be grateful. So what we must do is to be able to observe the moments that we're in. If we are not in the moment and we're not aware that we are in the moment, we cannot be grateful for those wonderful moments that are really tiny that we're missing. Everybody heard that Oprah said, I, have, I am grateful five for five things every night. Five things. That's what she said. I don't know whether she explained that it should be five different things. But she said, the more grateful I became, the more my life changed in a positive way. And I can attest to that. When we are grateful, our life do change in a very positive way. Because what you concentrate on, what you put on, in your life, which is the joy of being grateful and on small things. And I've told you about gratitude. I have told you about gratitude's best friend, the law of attraction. 
So guess what? The more grateful we are, the better our life becomes, the more we are able to succeed. And that's why gratitude is so powerful. And let me tell you why. If you're looking for someone to be a speaker at any of your events that you're planning, get in touch with me. My email address is right here and you can contact me and I would love to give you more about making life choices to you or any of the topic on living a fulfilled life. Have a great day. When we are grateful and when we apply gratitude on a daily basis, gratitude itself comes in and gives us more reasons to be grateful. We are grateful because of the joyous and the nice things of, that happen to us that comes into our life and we are just being grateful. Gratitude is funny. Gratitude has a great friend. Gratitude has siblings. When you start being grateful to this one person in this family, guess what? Everybody jumps on the bandwagon. Nobody wants to miss out on your gratitude, including gratitude's best friend, the law of attraction. What you desire to attract in your life, if you're grateful for it before you receive it, you will be finding it will come faster and you'll have more reasons to be grateful. I say, finally, gratitude has siblings and they all want to be loved and they all want to be feeling your gratitude and your happiness. So with this young man, I said to him, let's start with you as a human being. What are you grateful for in that body of yours? Silence. I, I, I don't know, Tessa Marie. I don't know. I said, come on think and I would not lead him. I forced him to go internally. He couldn't go internally. He couldn't do it. You know why he couldn't do it and maybe you cannot find things to be grateful for in your body is because of how we were taught. We were taught we should be concentrate on others and do not put any of our time, our energy, our vibration into us because we would consider vain and selfish and pompous and just name it and proud and peacocky. They gave us, they just did a number on us. So guess what? For that reason, we are not able to be grateful. And I recognize that with this young man because I too had to work on it and say, damn it, I am grateful for the very breath of life itself. This thing is happening. And I am not just I'm turning the wheel to make my breath comes on. It just happens. And many times we only realize it's happening when it stops happening, when we can't climb the stairs or we can't run or we can't do, oh, I can't feel it. Whereas if we polish it and we keep saying, I am grateful for the very breath of life itself, say it with passion and emotion, because it is miraculous that we are being pumped, the blood flowing through our veins, and we are just going our merry way. We do not stop to be grateful. So I started getting this young man to be grateful for the breath of life itself. And then Eureka moment happened. He said, so Tessa Marie, you're saying it's okay to be grateful for me. I said, yes. So I asked him again, what is it in you that you want to be grateful for? He thought, for a moment, I said, I'm grateful for my eyesight. And I said, okay, you said it with such passion. And uh, why? Because my friend lost his eyesight. And I realized how important it is. I said, there you go. I said, unfortunately, I will explain something that might confuse you or take you back a bit. Being grateful that you have and that person doesn't have is not really being grateful. That is being That is comparison. You're comparing what they have against what you have. That's wrong. So when you're being grateful, clear your mind, <clears throat> excuse me, of comparison. Concentrate yourself on you. I am grateful that I have sight. I said, another way to do it. What else are you grateful for? He said, you know, that I can hear. I said, good, cover it. I'm grateful for my five senses. I am happy and grateful. I can see, I can hear, I can smell, I can taste, and I can touch. I am happy and grateful. I can feel my heart beating in my chest. 
I am happy and grateful. I can see the rise of my stomach as my breathing and I breathe out. The ebb and flow of breath. I said, start with that. I am happy and grateful. I have shoes on my feet. I'm happy and grateful. My bed is comfortable. I am happy and grateful for the very joy that visits me each day. I'm happy and grateful for the smile of my children and my grandchildren. I'm happy and grateful I have friends I can talk, call and chat with. Yes, be happy and grateful for the small things so that more big, audacious purposes and reasons to be grateful will come to you. Gratitude's best friend is the law of attraction. Be grateful for what you desire, even if you haven't received it. And remember, siblings rivalry. Gratitude siblings wants to give you things to be grateful for. So the more you are grateful, the more you'll find reasons to be grateful and your life will change for the better. What you seek is also seeking you. It just wants a little bit of gratitude coming its way. Have fun with that. If you love this video, click here. Another one like on this topic will be around for you to watch. And have a wonderful and amazing day. Thanks for dropping by.